This is what is left of the former Bujagali Falls that were rapid and once attracted many tourists to the River Nile in Jinja. The rapids and water speed has slowed down, eliminating the rest of the falls. It's been exactly 10 days since the gates downstream were actually shut off to allow the water to generate to a certain level. Now where I'm standing is the level where the water is expected to reach. Now what this means is that the water is expected to rise at a level of 1.5 meters every day. Now if this happens, that means that all the six islands in the river will eventually be submerged, which is going to actually see the wildlife dead in the area. A water reservoir is now being created here at a fast rate. There is a lot of wildlife that has been living on these islands for generations that is now under threat. But the Uganda Wildlife Authority has now come in to help rescue the animals that would in most cases go unnoticed. We are rescuing variety of, uh, of wildlife species, uh, mostly those ones which don't swim or let me say crawling uh, wildlife. The rescue has so far seen three snakes, two chameleons, 11 crabs among others, and this monitor lizard rescued. <laughs> this is on three islands out of the six islands that will soon be submerged completely. Birds too have been the worst affected with many of their eggs and chicks drowning. However, the Wildlife Authority can't save much due to a few challenges. The logistics. We are hiring a boat and sometimes we find the coxswain is not at sight. So we have to move around look, mobilizing them. But Bujagali Energy Limited that is responsible for the flooding says they oversaw the nature loss but think there will be positive outcomes as well. There should be improvements in fishing with the creation of a reservoir and possibly other advantages that we'll see in the future. And the river banks should benefit from uh, affirmative programs that we intend, environmental programs. The animals that have been rescued are taken to a quarantine located at the Bujagali Energy Limited where they are treated and given special attention as they await transfer to the zoo and Kalagala Forest Reserve as a final settlement area. Kadoda, NTV.